hell are you doing here? And where are the others? Ah. Uh, still stuck on the other side. Shit. Well, at least that means they'll be keeping them busy. I honestly can't believe you managed to sneak over here. What a stupid move. Of course I wasn't answering. The radio's down. Someone thought it would be clever to put a bullet through it. Uh, no, it wasn't me. Christ. <sighs> What's happening over there anyways? With the others. <sighs> They've got Sage working overtime then. No, it was just their Sova here. That won't last for long though. Once they realize I've got this. <laughs> the idiot really thought you'd be able to plant the spike without us noticing. Of course I heard him. Clomping around in his heavy, insulated boots. I suppose they must be good for snow, but uh, not so much for stealth. <laughs> I wouldn't have survived this long without knowing tricks like that. We should be alright for a minute. Now we need to gather our resources and figure out what's next. The last communication I got was from KJ. Our little technician has run into trouble, but she seems to think she can lose them. You understand what that means, right? It means it's going to be a little bit longer before we have a way out, like it or not. I'll admit, it's unfortunate that this is how your first day is going. Then again, I suppose there's something to be said for trial by fire. You seem to be holding up all right. Here, press this against your cheek. Do you think I really don't understand that it's just a shallow cut? Maybe you're forgetting. I am a doctor. A wound on your head is going to bleed too much not to be treated. Especially when we have ample opportunity. So just quit your whining, would you? Besides, you're swimming with the sharks now. Best to avoid blood in the water. You're in their sights, so... Be careful. <laughs> Why, of course. Did you really think you could plan to kill that woman without her gunning for you? Hmm. Seems as though you may have not known your fiancé that well after all. If I were a betting woman, I'd say there's a bullet with your name on it. Mine too, if it makes you feel any better. Your radio's going off. Answer it, would you? Unless you're looking to have them know exactly where we are. Well, don't keep me in suspense, Fractal. What did they say? <laughs> they're pulling back. Shit. Well, that means they're onto us then. So much for sneaking. Either way is fine. We can do this by force if we must. Look, don't lose your head. All we have to do is hold things down until our ride's here. We simply defend our position. Surely Cypher must have given you the basics, right? He was supposed to be helping train you. Precisely. Oh, and um, you're gonna want to reload while you're at it. Uh, what? Are you joking? <laughs> All gone. All of those bullets. Wasted. And your sidearm? Gone as well. How in the ever-loving fuck did you seem to manage that? Actually, I don't want to know. Well, at least it had no bullets. Last thing we need is to hand them the means of our own destruction. You really are a piece of work. Moments like this truly do make me think that I perhaps should have let you bleed to death when I found you. Why? 
Because this is not an occasion when I need to babysit someone like you. Hmm? Why did I then? Well, best to consider it a lapse in judgment. Won't happen again. After all, you are at the best of times a fucking headache. And in moments like this, a complete and utter liability. That said, it's not as though you're useless. And the rest of the protocol seems to have grown increasingly fond of you, in spite of your clear inadequacy. The others. I suppose those fools would be sad to see you go when you've just arrived to darken our doorstep. <laughs> no. I don't think it's time for you to die quite yet. Alright then, Fractal. Seems that a new plan is in order. Take these. There should be more than enough ammunition for both the rifle and the sidearm. Don't overextend. Does it sound like a suggestion? Take them. They aren't your usual, but I'd hope Silva explained the basics well enough. Even someone like you should be able to make use of them. Point. Shoot. And don't fucking miss this time. <laughs> what about me? Don't be ridiculous. Do I seem like the sort of woman that needs a gun to get the job done? Please, I have enough poison for all of them. And don't discount my abilities with a knife. Like I said, I am a doctor. I can find the vital points with my eyes shut. <laughs> yes, this is how we'll put an end to all this. It's quite simple, really. I'll deploy the pit and you will take the spike to the rendezvous point. Then, wait for the others, and don't get killed. Easy enough for you to understand? Be fast. And for the love of God, don't get caught again. After all, I'm not coming to help you this time. What will I be doing? Well, I'll keep them busy. No doubt they'll assume we're safeguarding the spike here. They'll have to push in to be certain. And then I'll cut them to pieces. Do us both a favor and stop wasting time. Don't make foolish offers. And don't forget what you are. You are not one of us. <laughs> My poison will put you down like a lab rat. You should know that better than anyone. Does it seem like the time for selfish sentimentality? You need to get moving before we're surrounded. Oh, but, 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 this is an order. Get the spike to safety before I shoot you myself. I never said it was an ideal plan. It will simply have to do. You'll make it. <laughs> have a little faith in yourself. Why? Please. Like I'd miss the chance to make them suffer. Besides, I'm starting to see what she saw in you. Don't overthink it. And remember, finish it. Do you understand? Ugh. Look at you. Don't go getting teary on me now. It's never gonna work out. <laughs> now then, I think it's time to say farewell. Don't make me regret this. Bye, Fractal. <laughs>